Please all right, don't all right. say. It's not true. Yeah, it is, it is all right, true. candidates. Pennsylvania's Democratic race for U.S. Senate gets heated right here in our WTAE studios. The candidates got their chance to face off. That's right, and now we are fact-checking their promises. Investigator reporter Paul Van Osdell digging into the truth behind the claims. Paul. The most bitter attacks concerned Social Security and fracking. Some of the accusations, though, were not accurate came from former DEP Secretary Katie McGinty, who accused former Congressman Joe Sestak of wanting to cut Social Security. Uh, he has said that it was courage and the proper thing to do to call for the Social Security retirement age to be lifted to 69 and significantly cut benefits. McGinty bases that accusation on a brief statement Sestak made in January. And that's why those who have courage should stand up and look at the National Debt Commission as a template upon which you can address both the needed raise in revenues and the proper reform of entitlements. But Sestak's campaign says supporting a template to review Social Security and Medicare is not the same as supporting cuts in benefits. As a congressman, he never voted to cut benefits or raise the retirement age. In fact, he cast 41 votes to protect or expand Social Security. The candidates also clashed over fracking. McGinty accused Sestak of being pro-fracking. Uh, Congressman Sestak in his book, that is the foundation of his campaign, calls <laughs> fracking the common good. But this is what Sestak actually wrote. Drilling can ensure a common good by offering reduced carbon emissions and less dependence on foreign oil, but it must not be at a greater cost or even damage to our commonwealth. The negative exchanges last night could mean negative ads will soon be hitting the airwaves. If and when they do, we will certainly be fact-checking them. Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.